Okay, so we uh, yesterday we looked at the A value, the D value, and the C value. Okay, um, so today we're introducing a new letter, which is the K value. Okay, so the K value acts very, very similar to the A value, just the opposite though. So the A value is a stretch or compress vertically, whereas the K value is a stretch or compression horizontally. Okay, so we have this, what you did yesterday, if A is greater than one, it's vertically stretched or it expands. Okay, and if A is between zero and one, uh, then it is a compression. Likewise, if we said if it's negative, then the graph is reflected over the x-axis. Okay, so that's what we did yesterday. And you learned that in grade 10 as well. Okay, so now we're doing the k value. So the k value is a little bit different. Okay, so it's such that if it's greater than one, it's actually a compression, okay? So if K is greater than one, it is a compression, okay, horizontally. Okay, so greater than one, it gets compressed horizontally, horizontally being this way, so compression this way. If K value is between zero and one, then it is a stretch. It's a stretch horizontally, okay? So if K is greater than one, it compresses, so it's the opposite of A. And then if it's between zero and one, then it expands or stretches. Okay, so the K is the opposite of the A value. But if we wanna know what the factor it is stretching or compressing by, we have to do one divided by K. So for instance, if K was two, that is a compression, and then we divide one divided by two, which is a half. So it's compressed by a factor of a half. Likewise, if it is between zero and one, so say 0 0.5, we do one divided by 0.5, which will give you two. So that one would be stretched by a factor of two. Okay, uh, do note, to be able to identify the A and the K, so the A is in front of the function, so we'll be in front of the function, whereas uh, the um, k value will be in the brackets with x. Okay, so a is in front of the function, k is next to the x, and I'll show you how to distinguish between the two. I didn't give any examples for the A value. One second. I just realized that just all my examples are with the K value. So this is how you'd be able to tell the difference, okay? So inside the bracket is a K. So if I had something like this, two and then negative two X squared, this would be my A value, this would be my K value, okay? So A would be outside the brackets, K would be inside the brackets, okay? So A on the outside, K on the inside, okay? Likewise, we'll do a square root function. Say I had this function here. So the four on the outside would be your A value. The three underneath the square root, so within the function, is the K value. So this would be your A value, that would be your K value. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna graph 
these on the same set of axes. Let me just zoom out of these. And I apologize, I don't know why this got shifted up. So I'll just use this one for now. So I'm gonna draw a Cartesian plane. But before I put values into the Cartesian plane, hold on, some people are coming in late. Okay, so before I do the Cartesian plane, I'm gonna find the values of here, okay? So this is y equals x squared. Let's see if you guys can see the top there. So that's just your parent function, y equals x squared. So your values would be four, one, zero, one, and four. So negative two squared is four, negative one squared is one, zero squared is zero, and so on. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do all the tables, and what I'm just doing is plugging in each x value. So negative two, if I plug into x, I get negative two times negative two, which is four, squared is 16. Actually, let me do some different colors here. Sixteen. When I plug negative one in, negative two times negative one is negative uh, is positive two, squared is four. Plug in zero, I get zero. If I plug in one, I get four, and 16 as our final one. Then our last one, we get 36, nine, zero, nine, and 36. Okay, so I'm just gonna graph them. So negative one, two, one, two, three. And then my scale here, I'm gonna go up by fives. I know I won't fit the 36 in. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we have our x and y axis. Let's give you guys a minute if you guys are writing out the graphs. <coughs> 